Hi everybody, welcome back to my cooking show. Um, I was going to do a, um, a chicken Monterey like I had mentioned in my last video that I would probably do a chicken Monterey, but um, I think that I'm going to just, I, I don't plan things, see why I don't plan things? I think I'm just going to do a chicken rice casserole. I was out filming today and I just got back late and it's snowing because so I wanted to do them on the barbecue. Uh, it, that's just my oven. Um, it's snowing so I think we're just going to do the chicken rice casserole because it's quicker, it's easier, and you guys are all about the quick. Just like any other busy household is all about the quick. So first you want to... First you want to take your chicken breasts and we're going to cut this up into dice sized pieces. So that's the first step. So there you have it. I want you to keep lemon juice on hand always in your kitchen. Always, always, always real lemon juice after you've chopped up your raw chicken please clean your hands with this and your cutting board and your knife or just put the knife in the sink to be washed whatever um, so you're also going to need some vegetable oil or olive oil whatever you prefer um, I have olive oil but I choose to use the vegetable oil so um, and, and that's just preference. That's just, I mean, as far as it, it's just preference. So um, you're going to want to put that in your pan. And then throw your chicken in and give her a fry. All right, so while my chicken's in there doing its deal, um, I'm just going to get some things ready. Now you're going to need some rice, obviously, because it's chicken and rice casserole. You don't need to cook this rice. It is going to go in. It, it should be instant rice, not regular rice, but it's going to go in raw into this casserole because, I mean, we're cooking it at, I got the oven at 380, so, um, so yeah, we'll, uh, let that sit and do its thing. Now to this you can add whatever you want. Um, I love garlic. So I am going to add some garlic. Minced, of course. Juice and all. I didn't measure it, but uh, if I had to guess, I would say there's probably a tablespoon. So, like a uh, clove, half clove, I don't know. So while that's frying over there on the stove, you're going to want a can of cream of chicken soup, a can of cream of mushroom soup, some sour cream, and some white cheddar. Um, well, you can have any kind of cheddar. I chose white. So um, mix it all into a mixing bowl. and. Uh, Uh, sorry, I'm trying to prop you up. So we're gonna open these cans here. I'm 
probably electric one somewhere, but right now I'm not sure where it is. I'll probably serve this with garlic bread. making this right at dinner time too so I'm not gonna be able to clean up before I serve it I think I want to stick to mostly um, I'm just gonna smash these two together here I think I want to stick to mostly um, crock pot recipes because that's easy it's easy for you guys sour cream and uh have sour cream. I'm probably gonna say a tablespoon per can. Again, I'm just guessing. People we don't <laughs> cooks don't measure anything <laughs> unless you have to. Like I'm gonna do an oversized tablespoon. that in. I'm not sure when Scott's going to be home, but right now it's uh, 4.41. Said he's going to be late because he has to interview somebody for a job. So I think I've got some time. All right, that's my Twitter going off in the background. My phone on. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Yeah, I think that was probably about right. So this right now is really, really, really thick. I don't really want it that thick, so I'm gonna do. I don't know. Probably maybe a half a can of water, and then the rest of it milk. And see what kind of consistency I get there. I use one percent because it's way healthier. But you can use whatever. So I'm gonna I'm gonna slowly just add it just to see if that was enough or was it too much or nice brown looking chicken that's how I like my chicken and that taste will come out in your casserole and it will be fabulous that's why I use the vegetable oil over olive oil I'm just gonna turn the heat off on that when they mix this up see what kind of consistency I have I'm sorry that I can't really, like I said, I just make stuff up as I go along, so I can't really give you a, a teaspoon of this and a half a cup of that, and a, I just don't roll like that. I just make this stuff up and hope it tastes good, and 
but let's hope this tastes good. You could probably use any cream soup that you want. I use, well, cream of chicken because I'm making chicken. And I use, uh, that tastes really good. I only used half a can of that mixture. So I would only do a half a can of the water and milk. I get my casserole dish. These dishes are really good. I probably don't have to butter it, but I'm just going to do the corners because uh, we all know the corners is where all the problems come from. <laughs> and I'll smear some on the bottom. I just want to get my corners done. And then I'll just smear some on the bottom. Or you can use Pam or whatever. Pam's fine, but this at least tastes like food. So, yeah. So, I'm going to dump my chicken into the bowl of mixture that I just did. Sink, bring some water in it. I haven't thrown out this half a can yet because I'm going to put the, the rice in and see. I don't know if you could hear me. I didn't put this half a can in yet because I forgot I was putting in rice. I just remembered. I'm putting in rice. So I'm going to put the rice in my mix, my mixture bowl and see what the consistency is then. And then I might have to use some of this. So let me do... Here, I'll, I'll try to measure for you guys. I'm going to dump this rice over there. Let's say maybe two cups. Two cups of rice. Yeah, actually, you know what, guys? I'm going to use the other half can. Because I need I need liquid in there to cook the rice. But I don't want it to become so th thick that it, it's not like creamy casserole chicken when it comes out of the oven. So, actually, that might be pretty good. Alright. And you can do salt and pepper to taste. You need to decorate some of these some of these recipes to humor somebody's palate. By all means, you can put in parsley, you can put in spinach. You can put in anything you want. Spinach would actually be good. I don't have any spinach, or I do spinach. But uh, spinach or you know anything. I'm just making this for Scott. So uh, I don't have to worry, sorry, my heat, my heat's on. I don't really have to worry about color. And actually, Scott likes his stuff spicy. That should be spicy. So I just threw in some red pepper flakes. I'm going to dump this in. Right in my bowl. And okay. mm -hmm. Alright. Now 
go with the bright shred cheese. You can also make this um, by broiling your chicken and laying the chicken in the pan if you're making like a dinner for four or whatever you can get four chicken breasts lay them in a casserole dish make the same combination in a bowl add whatever pretty colors you want to add whatever spice you want to add and then uh, you know me it's just me and Scott so I cut it up way easier and I wanted to fry it instead of broil it but uh, yeah so I'm just gonna put some of the cheese on here now oops try not to clump it like I just did so some of the cheese is going to go on here now. I'm going to cook it a little bit and then I'm going to add the rest of the cheese. Oops, I'm making a mess. Alright, in the oven she's going to go. Which oven mom hardly. Tastes like ass. I'm obviously not gonna post the video. So if you're watching this, we've already eaten it, and it was fan fucking tastic. So now that it's in the oven cooking, we just clean up our mess, and then we wait. Wait and see. So I would say in the oven probably about 15 minutes. I mean really everything's cooked. 15 minutes, pull it out, put the rest of your cheese on, probably another 15, maybe not even. And then because uh, you're at 380. Um, and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Hi, okay, so we're about we're about halfway through the cooking process now, so this is where I'm actually going to toss in the rest of the cheese. Um, I just want to give you an idea of the consistency at this stage. The rice is, is cooking nice in there, and uh, it's like oatmeal. So that's great. I continue to stir throughout the cooking process just to keep it away from the sides so you don't get that burning stuff on the sides. So I'm just going to throw in the rest of the cheese. Clump it all over. Try not to clump it, but I am doing this with one hand. That's going to burn all over my door. All right. Give it a stir. I didn't stir it before I put it in, but I'm stirring it now because any cheese that might have hit the sides, I don't want it to burn on the sides. So let's get nice and thick now. You got cheese on my door. Healthy, anyway. Anyway, okay, where's my, my towel? Put that back in there. At this stage, I'm going to put the garlic bread in as well. Those are up, and let it continue to cook. So far, so good. Let's see what Scott thinks. Yikes. Okay, so you're gonna think I'm weird. But I decided that I actually, because I cut the chicken up in squares, that I'm gonna kind of use what I've made as like a. Um, what are you looking to cover? Have to 
trip. Um, I'm gonna use it over pasta, like an Alfredo sauce, kind of. Um, so at this point, I've just put it back in the oven after sprinkling the rest of the cheese in, threw my garlic bread in, and now I'm getting my water ready for pasta. I know, pasta and rice together, whatever. But I mean, who needs rules? It's gonna be yummy and it's gonna fill your tummy. Hi, we're back. That was about a half hour um, at 380. And um, this is what we've got. It's nice and thick. I'm gonna fog out a fog, sorry. Wipe you off. It's nice and thick, you can see how thick it is that, you know. So that's exactly how I wanted it. Uh, I'm just boiling my pasta now since I've decided I was gonna throw this on top of the pasta. Or you can throw it on top of rice, even though there's rice in it. You can throw it on top of rice too. So all depends. My garlic bread is a little overcooked. But it'll be fine because Scott overcooks his all the time, so I don't know if he likes it that way, but anyway. Just about ready to put all this together. Sorry. Got young and lean. Just about ready to put all this together, so hopefully he's home soon. And uh, we'll, we'll get his opinion. <laughs> Should be interesting. So let me show you what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. All done. It's like a lot of food, but trust me, Scott can eat it. He eats like one meal a day, so. So that's what it looks like, and uh, we'll see what he thinks when he gets home. Hi, well, um, I ate some, and I think it's good. Excuse me, it's filling, very filling. Um, and I got thinking, I never even told you guys that you can put like peas or corn and, or whatever in there. I didn't do that with mine because I hate peas and my stomach hates corn. So, excuse me, it's very filling. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can put peas and corn and you know, whatever, just drain the juices. I'm gonna have to do this again. Okay. Take two. Okay. Let's try this again. You guys can put peas in it. You guys can put carrots in it. You can put corn in it. Actually, carrots might be gross. The reason I didn't is because I hate peas with a passion and corn hates me with a passion. So that's why I didn't put any in here. I guess I could have set some aside and put it in Scott's, but meh. Anyway, um, it's good. I've, I've eaten it, and uh, it's it's good. I could, Even though I didn't put that much sour cream in it, I could totally taste the sour cream. It's fantastic. So, um, yeah, I don't know if I would change anything. I put salt and pepper, or I, well, I didn't put salt on it when I served it to myself. I put pepper on it. Scott's not home yet, so we'll get his opinion when he gets here. But not bad for making it up as you go. Okay, Scott, what do you think? It's delicious. Uh, I've got a ton of it here, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know he does, he does a ton. why. I don't really eat this, this much, do I? But you can. I probably can. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's really, really tasty. I have this problem that when I cook, um, I cook for... A whole bunch of people that aren't here. I don't know why. Maybe 13 years of working in restaurants. So sometimes I get my portions off, but you guys know from the recipe that this could probably feed four or five people. So there you have it. I was gonna say six or seven. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. Um, I hope it's good. I hope you like it. I hope you try it. And um, if you do and you like it or you don't like it, put it down in the comments below and let me know. See ya.